There is a lot of resources online to learn 3D and art in general, but the quality and the relevance can be super inconsistent. Here is a quick guide of the courses I would suggest. As a self-taught 3D artist and an educational content creator myself, I'm always looking for new courses online. In this video, I will give you the list of the best resources I found during those years of self-learning, whether they are Blender related, but not only. A little disclaimer here, there is a couple of courses I'm affiliated with, so if you get those courses through the provided link, I will get a little commission. It will be indicated on the video. If you are totally new to Blender, then I will advise to start with the Blender Foundation YouTube channel as being the best free resource online. But for me, the best Blender course for pure beginner is the Blender Launchpad from CG Boost. In this course, you will learn every Blender fundamental tools in a perfectly edited video from one of the best Blender teacher out there for beginners. This allows you to output a very appealing animation, which is super motivating, and the videos are super short and super well presented. This course is perfectly made to keep you motivated, plus it's not expensive. CG Cookie also provides most of the best education for Blender, but it's subscription based. I'll point out several CG cookie courses during this video. Once you've got the fundamentals, you will want to improve your modeling skills in Blender. And I advise you the CG Master Master Car Creation in Blender. Art Surface Modeling is one of the fundamentals of 3D modeling. Three Splush has outputted one of the most in-depth and detailed car modeling course available to this date. It's overly detailed. It's beginner friendly since every single steps are explained and if you accomplish this you'll have a solid level in art surface modeling. It's a pretty long course that also include a bit of shading and rendering. From there you will have very solid knowledge of art surface modeling. And this will be the perfect timing to take the Arts of Us modeling course by Gleb Alexandrov and A.D. Burroughs. They've been producing high quality tutorial in courses on YouTube for a while now. I love the editing they've done and they are sharing basic to super advanced art surface trick that will save you a lot. They are super creative in their modeling approach. I think it's the right move after the car modeling course because you will learn less orthodox ways to create art surface modeling with perfect output. And if you're enjoying this one, then I've also had my hands on the 50 modeling issues from L and this course is a killer too. A series of more than 80 videos showing even more advanced tips and tricks to solve any art surface problem you may have. It's really inspiring. Once you've learned modeling, then you'll probably want to create some materials. CG Cookie Shader Forge is awesome to learn the fundamental of Cycle's material. Even if it was edited in a previous version of Blender, the mechanism is the same today and Ken Trammell is one of the best teachers out there. So it's a bit outdated but still relevant. If you then want to go further with Node Editor, the Space VFX course will teach you a ton about Node's black magic and how to get the best from it. AD and Gleb will turn Basic Sphere into epic scenes using mostly Nodes. It's super inspiring. The thing I love about this course is that they are so creative using the Nodes and they are able to find workarounds to avoid creating simulation and stuff like that to create very epic FXs. Really a must have fun. I don't use that much Blender for texturing, but Jan Skult did a great job with this topic in his texturing in Blender for beginners course. Very appealing output with top quality video editing and step by step process. Perfect for beginners or people that need to revise texturing in Blender. Texturing is a craft in itself and I'm very sensitive to unpainted art and stylized PBR. Fanny Verne is a master in this genre with years of experience formerly at Blizzard and now at Airship Syndicate. 
all of her tutorials are just gold. If you want to learn a pure and painting character process, the most detailed resource I've taken so far was available on ArtStation Learn subscription. And painting textures for stylized 3D character by Yakaterina Borikina. It's mainly time lapses with commentaries, but this is the kind of level that will inspire you and push you to practice for sure. A lot of this previous course relies on digital sculpting. If you want to learn digital sculpting with Blender, then I highly recommend again CG Boost Mastering Sculpting in Blender. This is the perfect course for beginners. It's on Blender 2.79, I believe, but Zach told me it's gonna be updated this year, so if you're a pure beginner, wait for it. But if you're already familiar with Blender 2.79 to 2.80 updates, then it's a must have. He lists every single brush and explains them in a single video each time, which makes it very easy to both. And then he will guide you through more and more complex exercises to practice the art of digital sculpting. Jan Sculpt also have a little less detailed but very valuable tutorial to learn sculpting with Blender. He has become a pretty famous Blender YouTuber, mainly producing digital character sculpting, but also art motivational videos with a high quality editing that makes those very comfortable to watch. And I believe the courses are very affordable. I haven't taken this class, but I take the risk believing that CG Cookie fundamentals of digital sculpting with Blender must be a good one too. The CG Cookie team always provide best quality tutorials for Blender. And also for me, Ken Trammell is one of the best Blender instructor on the market. So I'm sure this is a good course. If you're interested in digital sculpting, you might also want to learn ZBrush, which has become my software of choice over the years. For me, the beginner's guide to ZBrush by 3D Total is the best to get started as I feel like books are a very comfortable medium to work with and it also includes video tutorial allowing you to learn the basics through a complete stylized character production. There is also a YouTube channel owned by Michael Pavlovich, whom, beyond being a killer artist, is one of the best ZBrush instructor on the internet. So it's one of the best free resources to learn ZBrush. And what is interesting is that he split his video in little tips videos. So whenever you are searching for something, check on his YouTube channel first. Another way to tackle ZBrush or Blender sculpting tools and texturing technique is to learn full character production pipeline. The female character creation in ZBrush by Nextut is a massive course, super detailed. I highly recommend it if you want to improve your ZBrush and sculpting skill. Mark Brunette, the creator of Cube Brush and former character artist at Blizzard, has also outputted two fantastic courses on full character creation pipeline. He will guide you through the entire process of sculpting, retopology, baking, texturing to create whether an unpainted style character in his 3D unpainted character for games or a stylized PBR character in his PBR character for games. His techniques are less software specific and he focuses a little more on the craft. I've sometimes found the editing was missing a bit of rhythm, but this course have really helped me leveling up my character pipeline and helped me to output the Crimson Run in course last year. So these courses are more aimed to learn the craft, not the softwares. If you want to be a good character artist, I can't recommend you enough to learn anatomy and figure drawing. I'm fighting with myself this year to get back to drawing and it's very painful, but I'm seeing the benefit already. The Proco YouTube channel has a ton of fantastic videos to study anatomy and figure drawing. And there are a lot of free resources on his website too. The best books I've ever taken are the Morpho Collection by Michelle Oricella. They are super affordable and fantastic. I love them 
and watch them almost every day. I also love 3D Total Anatomy for Artist book. It's super inspiring and very well done. I also highly recommend their 3D figurines that are pretty good and affordable compared to what's on the market. I do believe that the planar figures are a must have. I've also loved the Mark Brunet Ultimate Guide to Drawing Human Anatomy. Well edited and super comprehensive. Aaron Blaze's drawing and animation video are awesome. His How to Draw Human Anatomy and all his How to Draw collection are fantastic. As a former Disney's senior concept artist, director and animator, it's such an amazing experience to listen to his precious advices and technique explanation. Also, most of his courses are free or heavily discounted lately, so jump on them. I think the most valuable resource I've had the chance to put my hands on is Raphael Grassetti Design and Anatomy Package. He's one of the best digital artists out there, but it does feel super comfortable to follow his course. And this was a huge trigger for me. He makes anatomy way easier than most of the courses I've seen and it is super affordable. I feel like Raphael Grassetti and Aaron Blaze are two of the artists that are able to demystify a bit anatomy and make it less scary. And this is something really enjoyable. Regarding rigging, I might be a little biased, but I do believe that the few free Blender Foundation videos can help. I've learned most of the principles from Nathan Vegdal courses that is now 8 years old, but still super relevant. And it was the occasion to see Jan Hubbard without facial hair. The course can be found for free here, but I don't know if it's official or not. I have myself published a course I believe is a good one, covering all the fundamental for pure beginners to advanced mechanism to be able to rig a full character from scratch. See the course detail here. Then Pro also did publish fantastic YouTube tutorials. Very detailed, very well explained. Unfortunately, it seems he's not active anymore on his YouTube channel. I also enjoy a lot labeled pixel label channel lately. Nice tips and very well presented. Animation is something I've been practicing over the years, but it has become a big part of my daily job for the last three years. So I've mostly learned the basic by myself, but I've taken few classes that I believe are very good for Blender beginners. Both CG Cookie Animation Bootcamp and Body Mechanism by Wayne Dixon. Wayne is a super fun instructor and a seasoned animator and he will definitely teach you the fundamentals in detail in this Blender course. I haven't taken the fundamentals of animation course in Blender from CG Cookie, but I guess it's top notch since all CG Cookie courses are so well made. This one is also available on the Blender market, but I believe it's better to enroll on CG Cookie for a year and take a maximum of classes than buying their courses on the fly price versus value wise. One last thing I'd like to add here is that you won't learn if you don't practice, especially when it comes to the craft. The best tutorial will never be as valuable as hours of practice. You can watch and analyze all Mike Tyson fights if you don't go to the gym and train, you'll never be a good boxer. That's the same with art and 3D. The best artists out there are the ones that have worked the most. Not the most talented one or the ones that have the biggest tutorial collection. You will sure learn techniques that are specific to different software, but all the artistic fields such as shading, texturing, sculpting, animation, etc. obeys the same rules whatever the software you are using. One of my favorite resources to get started with the 12 principles of animation is the YouTube video by Alan Baker. It's a super fun to watch and well edited 24 minutes that will explain you all the basics rules of animation. And this is a good reminder whatever your skill level in animation. Every animator will tell you to take the animator survival kit by Richard Williams and so will I. 
it's kind of the animator bible and having a great book about animation is always a fantastic resource to learn and chill it is filled with drawings story advices to give life to anything whether it's a character or an object I've also really enjoyed the fundamentals of animation by Aaron Blaze. I feel like seeing someone animating the traditional way in 2D is pretty inspiring and it's very fun and appealing to watch. And is one of the best traditional animators out there. Jump on the course at the time of the release of this video, it is free. The game anime book by Jonathan Cooper is a must have too and it's very affordable. If you want a good reminder about video game animation fundamentals and requirements, it will help beginner and more advanced animator to get more input on this specific subject. While it does cover some of the fundamentals of animation too, Jonathan also talked about animation pipeline organization on AAA games, for example. It's a great resource to get aware of the different needs of the game animation industry and to have a broader view on project management and requirements. Once you'll have more experience and comprehension of animation, I believe the Animation Sherpa class by Richard Lico is a must watch. It's not cheap, but animation courses are pretty expensive and hard to find. But it's a gold mine of technique and inspiration. I often talk about this course because it has been a big jump forward for me regarding my animation skills and philosophy. While most of the examples are gameplay wise, those techniques can absolutely be used for featured animations. The last course I've taken is pretty pricey and at first I was a bit disappointed, but the more I got into the course, the more interesting it was. I would recommend it for advanced and pro animator because of the price and because of the specificity and level of detail that is put into it. Just have a look at your Elementi portfolio and you'll understand this is some high level stuff that can be pretty overwhelming. But it is filled with nice tips and incredible details to look after. It will sure bring you the imposter syndrome but will kick you in the butt to train harder your animation skill. I hope you find this video useful and I will see you in the next one. In the meantime, I wish you a very good day. Cheers.